Good morning, folks from Dhaka, Bangladesh. And I apologize right in the beginning because my voice is not going to be that loud. I'm taking antibiotics and stuff, so still not well. But I'm going to do this episode for you. So for those who want to listen, cannot hear properly, uh, use headphones. Maybe that will help. All right. So today is a Friday in Bangladesh. Friday and Saturday usually are our weekends in Bangladesh, in this part of the world, because Friday we call it Juma Day. Juma means the Friday prayers. It's very special to our country, all right. And I believe it's same in the uh, some of other countries like Pakistan. Also, I'm not sure about India. So weekends, yes. So people are relaxing. There's no cars. You cannot hear. It's very peaceful. Only the crows are busy. So yeah. Um, People on Friday go to their prayers, um, they relax, they put on um, like others, you know, perfume oils, they chill and enjoy the weekend with family and friends. So I got one fragrance for you today and uh, I believe this is an underrated gem for those who live in hot tropical tropical countries. Look into this and I'm going to do this is not going to be initial impression. I took my time to see the performance and this is going to be uh, a full review of this beautiful fragrance. They're from House of Davidoff. It's called Hot Water, right? So you can see my juice level significantly down. Severe testing, my friends. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the reason for doing this is recently I have this I have this thing, you know, when I start buying blue fragrances, I go for blue. Then I have the green fra phase, you know, like all the green fragrances, Polo, the Bogart Storyline Green, all these green fragrances, right? Now the theme is red. I have about six, seven fragrances that are red and I love red fragrances. So I thought I wanted this fragrance for a few reasons, all right? First reason was um, I saw, you know, honestly speaking, I'll tell you something honest, all right? I look for reviews on certain fragrances which piques my interest. And if I cannot find a proper review of a fragrance that gave me 100% satisfaction, I tend to buy those fragrances and check it out for myself because it you know frustrates me i'm like damn yeah so there are good reviews on this my friend good friend fragrance Matt did that that is my most favorite review of this fragrance all right second of all this fragrance um i wanted to get because i live in a hotter country now bangladesh is a very hot country so you need something that will last you that will smell good not overpowering but it will get you compliments for a good price all right good price point this is a very good bang for the buck that sort of fragrance the last reason i wanted to get this is Oh no, I have two more reasons. One reason was, second last reason is, I have David of Cool Water, the legend, right? This is well loved, one of the most highest sold fragrances in the world, right? Highest number of bottles sold. And you know, when it gets that much love, it must be something special, not just the money. People just love this stuff. You cannot do this, you know, no matter, don't put it against Green Irish Tweed and big main names. This is a big name. David of Cool Water, not David of because David of doesn't have that many uh, hits. There are more misses than hits, but this was a big hit. This one made David of as a fragrance company established. So yes, I wanted to get the counterpart of it, so-called, somewhat looks counterpart. This is a 75 ml bottle. This is 110 ml. Yes, a little bigger bottle, right? But they look like nice siblings, right? One is themed of water. One is themed of fire, right? So yeah, and the last reason is I want to get this for this beautiful bottle. You guys know I collect. This bottle reminds me of a lot of things. I'll tell you in a bit. All right. So first of all, the bottle size, the concentration on this is EDT. All right. Udi Toilet. Um, the prior bottle size, I think it comes a bit weird. Usually you see 50, 100, 75, 125, that sort of bottle size. This one is 110. I don't know how 110. I haven't seen that many 110s. And also there's a smaller bottle that is 80 ml. So the price point for this is quite cheap. In Bangladesh, I got this for about $20, $25. That's our price range, not more than that, all right? So quite reasonably priced. And uh, the box, here's the box. It's a beautiful looking red box. And it's like, if this was from YSL, people would be like, ah, oh, YSL opium sort of box. Look at that passion, look at that fire. People don't talk about this beautiful fragrance because it's from House of Davidoff and it's cheap. Psychologically people, many people, they are like, this is a cheap cologne. That's that's a problem with many of us in the community. This one reminds me of another very, just look at this and this side by side. What do you think? I think they extremely are similar in the color pattern. All right. And uh, as much as I love Fahrenheit bottle. Okay. 
I'll show you. I'm taking a little bit of time because I really want to cover this fragrance, all aspect of it. Just look at these two, side by side. Which one do you like more? I love Fahrenheit bottle because of the sunset theme, the gasoline theme, but I don't love this any less. This is as gorgeous as Fahrenheit. So, yeah, so ending with the bottle box, nothing much, generic, made in France. It has some, uh, the ingredients and all. It says your concentration and size, hot water red with the black hue around. Top, nothing much, all right? Back is same, all right? So if you're scared of fakes, yeah. Bottom, you get your serial code and whatnot, batch code. Very nice box, very, very nice box and looks very nice and tall, all right? The bottle, it's an art, piece of art for me. I'm gonna say something bad about this. It reminds me of, uh, I haven't been to that area, but it reminds me of if I was in Amsterdam and this would be a red light district. <laughs> I have those who have seen that movie, Euro Trip, right? The dude goes to Von der Sachs, <laughs> Holland, right? He went Amsterdam and uh, yeah, that sort of area. Look at the red. It, it, it's pretty <clears throat> passionate at the same time, it's slutty too. I love this red. And the bottle at the side, it's, it has the black, looks like grip. You guys have seen, but if you haven't, I'm showing you. This one actually is very slippery. It doesn't have, but psychologically you feel good. Like, And the bottle is kind of thin, so easy to grip. Many of the bottles are super fat. And uh, you don't know really how how <laughs> to manipulate. Like, uh, How do I hold this? This is a beautiful bottle, by the way, but a bit difficult to manipulate. Like, maneuver, sorry, not manipulate. So yeah. The cap, the cap is quite secure, you can pick it up, it's alright, it's a snug fit, but nothing special. Take it out, the atomizer looks like this, sprays beautifully, right, looks nice, right, so mm, very strong fragrance sort of, alright. So yeah, um, for uh, the color pattern, it looks very, very beautiful, before I talk about the fragrance, the bottle is mind-blowing for me. All right, so concentration size, and uh, the back looks like this. I really dig the bottle design. 10 out of 10 for the presentation. All right, there you go. Okay, so I'll t tell you about from according to Fragrantica, all right? This, uh, this is the description. David Hot Water arrives as a fiery, oriental, masculine fragrance in September 2009. All right, so sort of end of year for 2009. All right, the top notes in this features absinthe, Absinthe, red, ba red basil, basil, a heart introduces hot accords of pimento. I don't know, I like calling pimiento, pimiento, but it's not pimiento, it's pimento, right? And patchouli, patchouli. While a uh, base encompasses Tyrex and uh, benzoin, and the flecons are very appealing and colored in dark red. I agree, all right? So yeah, those are your notes in Fragrantica, so my notes. All right, so I'm not gonna talk about notes or what I get. So this fragrance piqued my interest because I live in a summer country, I told you just now. This one, it's, it's nothing mind blowing, right? In the beginning I'll say this is not absolutely masterpiece or uncommon. This is not one of your uh, Lamal or uh, Fahrenheit sort of unique fragrance, like it's a unique fragrance, no. But when I saw the note of absinthe, I really want to dig this because they put the accords like champagne accords in different fragrances. They also put like, um, what else do they put? They put um, energy drink accord. You know those fragrances, right? This one, they put absinthe, right? So, and you see the bottle, it looks like, yeah, it could be something like spicy. At the same time, something boozy and intoxicating, very mysterious and dark, sort of night out scent, right? Wrong. <laughs> okay, so what do I get from this fragrance? And uh, I'll tell you all the aspects. For the price, what you pay, you certainly get very good deal because this fragrance lasts all right longevity is excellent on this beautiful i saw this in starlin enterprise once first time i saw this i didn't buy it from starlin i bought it from a local shop shamsi's uh, collection i think yeah so this one usually i what i do is i apply fragrance in the shop and i go back you know on the way if it lasts because it's hot outside if it lasts me more than one to two hours in bangladesh that's when i start thinking yeah it's interesting this stuff lasted me four to five hours in heat on my skin not even my clothes on the clothes it will last you seriously it will last you a long time so this one has some serious lasting power first good thing second thing is this fragrance when you spray it first all right how many sprays mm, i would say if you're in bangladesh and uh, countries like ours because fragrance don't last that long i say you go five to six sprays like this all right one two on your chest clothes hand 
okay six to seven sprays all right and then i showed you the the spray right so let's spray it on my skin the spray is very good right do you see that it sprays a lot of juice so very good a class for the sprayer okay at first get hit by a little bit of alcohol okay alcoholic feel all right so let it dry down let it wear off and i know what this smells like and what it gives me ah yes yes after five to ten seconds that point it comes it starts coming to you it's very very sweet it's very sweet fragrance and has the element touch of that alcoholic you know it's, it's sort of like a spirit not to say it's a um absinthe because i smelled absinthe before the bottle from the bottle i saw it once i smelled it it smelled like crazy and like mm. so it doesn't smell exactly like absinthe but it has a vibes of it so it's like a spirit sort of a scent but in a good way not cheap alcohol so you get that sort of a spirit coming up you know so yeah that's there and it has that sweetness it opens up with and has something at the backbone i think it's the patchouli will pick up much, much later but it has the element you know it's not just a summer typical summer fragrance it's different yes it, it gives you vibes of many other fragrances but this one definitely it's it's it's, it's a one of a kind in many ways too so yeah does it have the chill uh, the pimento pimento the chili when you look at the bottle the red color it it may seem like if you haven't used it may seem like it will be very very spicy too spicy there's nothing spicy about it very small kick off imagine the bell pepper all right it take the sweetness and the aroma of it minus the spiciness that's what it smells like all right so yeah opening top note is the sweetness little bit of citrus and the that sort of the spirit accord yes that one will stay with you for some time and somehow this one reminds me of youp jump this one has some i think some common notes i'm not going to talk about notes but if you know this one that smell a lot alike like not exactly same but a lot of common elements with this all right so yeah yeah so when it dries down it will go to something very simple there's nothing complex about it. it's very uniform scent it doesn't give you so much just like cool water cool water is very simple too right so this one is a performer where cool water is not really a performer all right this one will last you maximum two to three hours in our conditions maybe two hours in bangladesh overseas condition yes it will last much better this one in overseas if you are living in foreign countries europe states that side in a cooler country you can use it definitely this one you need much lesser sprays there all right for subcontinent go heavy non subcontinent winter based countries maybe go 2 to 3 max all right this will last you 12 hours all right so dry down it will go very very soft that absinthe accord all your uh, spiciness is gone so the patchouli starts picking up a little bit i get that smell it's very common in many of my fragrances now i get um that very pleasant sort of like a summary at the same time it has some elements of winter so it is a good versatile scent i would say for springtime maybe winter time you'll enjoy this to warm you up a little bit but in the hotter days this one it won't be that cloying at the same time it will last you and project very nicely in the heat so people in bangladesh and india all the tropical countries all right look into this hotter countries asian countries this one will perform on you if you're going for office this will be a very good solution all right and uh, the dry down also gives you i think uh, not quite sure what else is there nothing very complex very simple scent sweet scent all right so it's a sweet loving compliment getter not so much synthetic it doesn't smell that synthetic it has that um if you ask me if it doesn't smell like a very expensive perfume no not really okay so for longevity i'll give this 8.5 out of 10 all right projection is very good for the first two hours this one projects people will notice you when you walk by put one here on your shoulders when you move all right and put one on your back of your neck when you move people will smell you so projection is very good i'll give eight out of ten for the smell itself i really love it it's just my personal choice all right and i love the concept of this hot water it's not really that hot nah. but yes this presentation the smell of it definitely compliment garner so for the smell i'll give this nine out of ten why not nine bottle design you guys know ten out of ten uh for compliments you'll pick up compliments from this but nothing out of the park you know like oh damn man what are you wearing you are wearing something i never smelled before now nah. people have smelled this kind of fragrance all the time but this is one of those safe fragrances which is better than the rest you know the up on the higher side so definitely bang for buck 
very good smelling fragrance and it will be good for daily use for youngsters who will start collecting people who are starters buy this you'll get good performance out of it and it will look great in your collection all right so my overall mark for this i'm going to give this very high mark i'm going to give this 8 out of 10 overall right for what it is for the price for the performance and the smell is not that bad you will buy a lot of these fragrances that is just plain boring doesn't last and you don't really like you can like this all right so look into this if you're looking for underrated gem this is underrated gem all right it gets high mark from me high praise for me for so many good reasons it has more good than bad if, does it have any weakness yeah it's a bit boring sometimes because if you wear this every day you might get bored of it that's one thing i can sing um second thing i can think of it is just it doesn't have that much character to it all right it's it's nothing mind-blowing all right so if you're looking for artistic fragrance it's not going to give you that much artistic vibe but yeah very good fragrance all right so the what else um i'm forgetting something oh for the collectors if you're collecting this is a good one from davidoff all right this is a good one they have uh, three or four good fragrances this is one of them all right so if you're a collector get this so thank you guys for watching and i'm sorry i made it a little bit longer uh, than usual i hope you enjoyed the review i hope to talk to you soon and i have plenty more fragrances to come and uh, review for you just showing you a little bit these are in my future <laughs> possible reviews all right they're in the lineup you guys know this one i'll talk about this soon in my future videos have a nice day guys